takes us back to Central High School and why not? They're five and zero at this point. It's homecoming night. It's been a long time since the Indians have boasted an undefeated record on a traditional night like this. But in 2023, they have yet to record a loss and they're riding some serious momentum going into homecoming night with the Fort Osage Indians coming to St. Joseph. Let's not waste any time. Let's go out there. Central. They've come out the gates hot in the first half of this season, 5-0, and but Ford Osage at 2-3 and isn't afraid to walk into hostile territory and ruin the party. First quarter, no score. Caleb Aguilar trying to pass the defense of Ford Osage, showing up big. Aguilar is sacked for a loss. Now Ford Osage on offense, still in the first, no score. There were no rosters available for this game, so we didn't really know who anyone was on Osage, but we found out this kid's name, River Peppers. He scores the 11-yard touchdown to put Ford Osage up 7-0. And why did we only find his name? Well, because he basically did everything for them. Still in the first, he scores again. Peppers from seven yards. Osage up 14 to zero. In the second quarter, same score. It's Phillips up, excuse me, Peppers up the middle. 29 yards, he scores again. He's the only name we got because he was the only name we needed. Later in the second, Ford Osage up 28 to zero now. Kickoff fielded by Gabe Fields of Central. He's going to start on one side of the field, spin move, cut back inside, and he's off to the races. He's going to go all the way for the touchdown. And Central, well, they think they're on the board now, but wait a minute, there's a flag on Central, which brings this one back. Central just couldn't catch a break in the first half. Fort Osage, they win big, 49-7, to and they serve Central their first loss on a silver platter. It's a pretty big loss for Central in this one, but hey, Sometimes you just can't win them all, right? So